Welcome back, guys, uh, to a new game that was free on Prime Gaming, and I redeemed the key on Gog, and here we are. So, let's start game. Uh, Stellaris, from what I've heard, is a Paradox Interactive space game. Um, it said gave me the full game, so, and I didn't see anything on DLC, so, yeah, I think I'll look at that for a second. Okay, I don't, but here we are. So, we're going to create a new civilization. A new empire. So, this, I guess, is basic. So, we're going to look like, I think we'll look be that. Or we could be reptilian. I've always been a fan of sort of reptilian stuff. Um, I think we're going to stick with this. Yeah, I like this. I like it. So, species name. Our species name will be the... Ogras. Plural will be Ogras. Adjective will be Ugla or Uglasaur. Actually, I like Uglasaur for a thing down there. So, Uglasaur. So we have that from the toggle for all the ears and pops have. Oops. I did. I uh. I. Eh? Okay, we're... <laughs> I messed that up by accident. Nameless. We'll have the nameless be that one. The traits. Let's fix up their traits. So, we have two trait points. Uh, I want these guys to be extremely adaptive. Um, I think we should be... What's so members reluctant migrate away from they grew up? Let's have inventable. I probably am gonna need to fix all this probs. <laughs> name and class. Home world name cannot be empty. So let's go ahead and have it our home world like that. We'll we'll shake it alone. Logan, Logan Jack. The appearance will have our cities to be reptilian cities, of course. Um, our origin. We I want to have the origin of. Let's see. Clone army. One new. Or Wait, nope. I don't own the DLC. <laughs> um, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna have it as galactic doorstep. Next, our government and ethics. Oh, uh, we're going to work with our ethics first. We want to be, um, fanatic, I want to be just militarist. I want to be authoritarian. Uh, we could also have, let's see. And eagle, oops. I, we're going to leave it warfare and that for now. Uh, so. Next, we can be a dictatorial, imperial, or or that will be a. Hmm, let me think. Will be imperial. So we can set all this. Um, all feudal society will. Okay, next will be. Let's see. Police. Actually, no. How do I remove that? Okay. Will be a warrior culture. That works. Next, we're going to randomize this to the Ugas Imperium. Um, next. Oops. I just skipped. Where? Uh, we'll leave the ship. Our ruler will be, of course, that. Uh, Latia, the emperor, the crown prince is his hair. He'll be in room two. Loki in next. Um, we have ma we have minus this. We'll get rid of extremely adaptive, and we'll have repro. We'll have reprogen. Uh, 
and conserve this. So now we can go ahead, save that, and be done with this species. Uh, we're going to have it so it didn't lag too bad to a small galaxy. Um, I don't really care if it's eligible or not. Uh, I'm going to leave this how it is. Let's start. Okay, here we are at the galactic doorstep. We are the Uglas. Tips only. Please. So, okay, I do have it on low graphics. Um, let's see if I actually know what to do. So, this is our home world. Locum Jack. Um, this is something called... Crown Prince Yunid is the new hair. Okay. Um, ah, perfect. I love these. Physics research. Let's select our researches. A blue laser. I want to research the genome mapping. Uh, powered exoskeletons. Uh, new hair. Who is the... Can I click to see who's the new hair? No? Ah, uh, this one's it. Um, I, now this game is probs new to me. I have not played this before, so this is a starbase. I thought it was a ship. Dang it. Uh, no, uh, wrong bun. <laughs> um, now we'll have them go over that way. Now, one thing I don't like about paradoxes isn't turn based. So, there isn't a set amount of meters or anything. Um, I prefer turn based, like Axioms of Dominions. He just recently spoke to a heavy paradox modder. Go check him out on his Substack. So, I am advertising him until December, so, <laughs> possibly. Um, so now I. Maybe we can terraform. We do not have terraformal and sculpted. Which, I want to see where our home world is. Where is our home world? We have an outpost. We have way too many frozen worlds. This is our star. Where's a living planet? Someone tell me that. I think we'll head this way. We'll have it go to whatever. Oh, we haven't assigned a leader. We have no leaders. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So we're gonna leave this ship around alone because if I, I don't know. <laughs> so we have. What's this? Influence. We have a good amount of influence. So. Now I don't, I won't play space games very much. I do prefer, like, I prefer fantasy games, that kind. What are they doing? Moving cooperation in 27 days. We're at the cooperation system. Here we are. Why are you still moving? Why are you still moving? Stay, yeah. Go over here. We're warlike, so is there anyone living here? Yep. So do we click and drag it? So click to change our people bond bombing state. So now we should be doing that. Um, possibly. I actually have forgotten how to colonize. Um, but I want. So, our star base, I believe we can create settlement ships. Shipyard. Let's see. So, let's look. Okay, Mr. Robot, thank you. Um,. So yeah, I don't want this episode gone too long. We'll end it at 14 minutes. So, let's start looking for a... Oh, 
Ah, here it is. Our empire, our capital, we can look at. So this is our capital. We have features we can, which is cool. Uh, we have decisions we can make too. This over here. Okay, we can we can stop robot, droid, or synthetic off assembly on this planet. We could declare martial law. Uh, we need more jobs, so we'll add that. I want them to have more soldier jobs. Um, that was probably beyond stupid. <laughs> Actually, I'll go ahead and remove that. How do I re stop it? In martial law. Thank you. Um, we can expel access population. We can... We're going to cease the robot assembly right now. We're going to wait for them, the normal people instead of the alien robots to clear blocker. So, this is us, I believe. Uh, maybe. That's your us or a governor. Apparently. We can see our mill. Oh, civilian ships. Here it is. Here it is. Where's my civilian? So, civilian ships, I believe, populate planets. Maybe we could build a mining station. Sure, we'll go ahead and build a mining station, get some more resources, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. Have someone outdoor without slice warning a, a gateway has become alive. Lovely. Um now this guy is going to build a uh whatever they're called. Let's go ahead and speed up time to fastest. We need to speed it past fastest to light speed. I right, no no we can't. Okay, so there are 18% in building this. Uh, we have our science ship. So we will can send it to the Madoc retreat. Can we please have, like, nothing? Nothing. Uh, let's have it do research anomaly. So I hope that works. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Robot. Um, we have another... Mining shit, mining station. Am I going to send them like over? No, that's a mining station. Uh, we have our star base here. Uh, let's see if these guys are doing. Oh, wait, we settled on a moon of a planet. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on. Automation, let the people figure it out so we can focus on our things. Low colony automation stockpile. Really? Uh, I don't care. I focus on balance stuff and figure it out. <laughs> <gasps> oh my. So this science is no orders. Okay. Research an anomaly. Are you able to do that? No? Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first taste of Paradox's Stellar. Stellars. See you later. Bye.